There he is, there's the crappie. That is, I don't think he's very big, but that is gonna be the first crappie of the 2023 season. Oh. Ow. Well, Happy New Year. That one kind of hurt. There's fish down there. Good way to start off a video. Welcome back, Happy New Year, Happy 2023. Today's video, we're gonna to try to catch the first crappie of 2023, at least for me. Um, there are crappie down there. There's some bluegill down there, and I think I saw some, thought I saw some yellow perch down there too. But there's some crappie down there. Let's drop this down. I'll explain here in a quick second what I'm using and how you can get it for just $1. Yeah, really good deal to start off the new year. Hopefully I'm pointing in the right direction here. I probably should have checked that. Oh, there's a fish. I got him. Didn't get it on camera, but I felt it. Is this crappie number? Oh, it's bluegill number one for the 2023 season. There we go. Right there. And today's video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. We're gonna get this guy back. Right now you can get Two more cast tackle box subscription if it's your first month signing up for just one dollar and you can get a pack of these euro tackle leeches for just one buck it's a heck of a deal i think they're normally about five or six bucks but right now you can sign up first link in the video description get yourself one of these euro tackle leeches for just a dollar heck of a deal after your first month you're going to get an assortment of multi-species lures hair jigs plastics crankbaits jerk baits bunch of cool different stuff every single month but for right now one dollar gets you a pack of these that retail for like five or six bucks a pack heck of a deal let's get back down there catch some more crappie or bluegill i gotta find my jig on the camera here but there are a ton of fish down there on this crib I'm gonna talk about real quick how I found these fish, but let's make sure we can actually get this thing on camera. There he is, there's the crappie. That is, I don't think he's very big, but that is gonna be the first crappie of the 2023 season. Oh, kind of, it's like a half catch. He got off right at the hole there. But I'm just gonna explain real quick kind of how I found these fish. These fish are, these cribs are actually set up right on the drop going into this soft bottom base and you can see the bottom there it's really like a silt powder almost um, and typically in the winter time these both bluegill crappie you can see some largemouth down there this early part of the winter they're going to set up right on this drop going into the basin as winter progresses they're going to move into the basin um, but if you can find any pieces of of cover like this even a deeper weed edge on some of our natural lakes up north now for those of you guys that fish like big river systems or reservoirs uh bridge fishing i mean it's no secret you guys can see how many boats are fishing bridges this time of year especially down south on you uh, on the big reservoir systems any part any deep cover this time of year bluegill ooh, is going to hold a good amount of fish oh is that no that's a crappie and right now with this this leech even though they call it a leech it looks like a a wax worm and uh, any type of live waxies really good this time of year mostly pretty much that's all bait shops sell besides minnows so um, when you try to imitate that waxy this is a great presentation for it trying to convince some of these fish to come outside the crib and bite it is going to be a little bit difficult oh here here's a decent bluegill i think there we go I dropped the camera down a little bit lower in the water column because these fish seem to be sitting a little bit lower. Oh, missed them. And it's because we got a we got a storm front coming through in the next 12 hours. And oftentimes when there's a big cold front coming through, these crappie and even these bluegill, they're gonna sit a lot lower in the water column. They may stay in the same depth, so they might stay in about 20 feet. I'm in about 19, 20 feet right here. Come on, bluegill. but they'll, they'll just sink lower in the water and almost be bellies on the bottom. I was fishing a few nights ago and we had a huge cold front come through, negative temps. Oh shoot, oh there's a big bluegill down there. That's a good bluegill, come on. 
and these crappie were actually bellies on the bottom on a rock pile. It's nighttime, so it's a little bit hard to see them, but that's what these fish will do when these cold fronts come through. They're just going to sink lower. They're going to probably stay at the same depth in terms of where they are in the lake contours, but they're just going to sink to the bottom. That's a decent crappie, I think. I'm going to try to catch about five or six of these for breakfast. Or a bluegill. I'll take a bluegill. Oh, missed him. So when do when you do have weather fronts come through in the winter time, it's not so much that these crappie or these bluegill move completely across a different part of the lake or the river. They might just sink really low in the water column. Might just be bellies right on the bottom. You can see some fish are almost in a silt right there. Come on, bluegill. Oh. Also, the bite might start to get a little tricky. That's a little bluegill. It's almost like they're really short striking it. And this leech is only three quarters of an inch long. So if they're short, short striking something like this, I, you know, the only thing you can do is try to trigger it a reaction strike by bouncing that jig like this because you can't really go much smaller I'm using a 36 or uh, 30 second ounce tungsten jig here I guess I could go to a 64th but take a while to drop a 64th ounce jig 20 feet down got him there's a crappie there we go I think this will officially be crappie number one now that I got him through the hole, that's uh, it's probably about a nine inch fish. And I'm gonna keep them today for breakfast. There we go. Let me talk real rod reel line setup real quick here. Today I am using a PC Fun Ice X Frost. It's the brand new Frost by PC Fun. A um, little bit better gear ratio than their Ice X Carbon from last year comes in a cool white color and I think one more color as well. I'm using three pound monofilament and going with the 132nd and of course the Eurotackle leech which you can again get for just a buck just one dollar. Let's drop back down there catch some more crappie. Try to get five more here that'll be good for breakfast and we'll get out of here and go eat. One thing to remember, whenever you're ice fishing for bluegill crappie, they really like to feed up. So you can drop it down below them if you need to get their attention. As you can see on some of these fish on the underwater camera, I drop it below them, they kind of turn, and then I quick raise it above them. There he is. Crappie number two. Well, I did manage to catch a few more crappie and some bluegill for breakfast. Uh, this is a great strategy when you're looking for crappie on a new lake. Find the deeper contours that go right off into the basin. If you can find any deep cover, um, cribs like this, deeper weed edges, a lot of these fish are still going to be located right on this break line until we get to probably about mid-January before they start pushing off into the basins. Uh, be sure to click the top link in the video description. Sign up right now for just $1 and get a pack of these Euro Tackle leeches when you sign up for the Two More Cast Tackle Box subscription. Appreciate you watching, as always. Many more ice fishing videos to come this season. Good luck on the water. Happy 2023. We'll see you in the next one.